Our next guest is a very special guest. That's Bernadette Bernadini. Bernadette, if you would come on up. For those that don't know much about the PHS history, the Bernadinis have been a household name at PHS since the day we opened. Almost, 18 years, and for good reason, because Nick's been with us for a long time. So we're thankful that you're here to share a tribute with Susan. You might not know that uh, Bernadette, she gave me a little intro to tell the rest of you. In her own words, her family was uh, dragged here to Minnesota, kicking and screaming from beautiful San Diego, California. She is a passionate advocate for kids with special needs, and I think she's got a pretty unique perspective as a mother and a, um, a critical care nurse and trauma nurse. So we're very thankful that uh, the Bernadinis have been willing to push a lot of boundaries in home care, and you've blazed a few new trails as well. Uh, she remains very active mentoring and educating parents, doctors, state legislators, service providers like us, and she counts herself very blessed and is very thankful for her family. So I present the self-proclaimed choreographer of chaos, Bernadette. an amazing honor to have been asked to say a few words, which is very hard for me to do, to say a few words, about Susan Wingert and PHS. Um, I really am very grateful that you have asked me here, and um, I'm quite honored. Um, Susan and PHS have had a monumental impact on my family. Susan's visionary thinking and gutsy doing are a testament to our eldest son, Nick, as a true PHS success story. In, <laughs> In 1994, when my dear husband Steve's employer rather abruptly moved us, transferred us from San Diego, California, to Roseville, Minnesota, it was, needless to say, life-changing. Having a seven-year-old, medically fragile, technology-dependent child, as well as a very energetic, very active, healthy two-year-old, trekking 2,000 miles across the country to this frozen, foreign land, was really unfathomable to me, having lived nearly 40 years in glorious San Diego, California. Along with the move, it was leaving all of the established support systems we had, the family, the friends, lifelong family and friends, all of the relationships we had with multiple physician specialists at San Diego Children's Hospital and Clinics, our DME company, our quasi home care service, and Nick's special ed education programs it was really overwhelming. The move was particularly difficult for Nick. The first year we were here, he had 13 hospitalizations at Minneapolis Children's Hospital. Fortunately, during one of those admissions, we were blessed with a referral to, at that time, Pediatric Home Respiratory Service. And a coveted relationship began with Susan Winger, Sandy Letts McGuire, Bruce Ebstrom, then Barb Lynn, Anthony Scandarito, where are you, Anthony? <laughs> and Judy Geel. Susan's vibrant passion, compassion, knowledge, and chutzpah gave wings to our fervent wish that Nick would always live at home with us and be as happy and as healthy as possible. <clears throat> Susan and all at PHRS were willing, flexible, committed, and cutting edge in teaching us all the while 
cheering us on. Susan, PHRS, Dr. Wheeler, Bonnie Giacomini, Lorraine O'Malley, Caregivers Network, gave credence to the mission of taking care of the child. In 1996, they were miracle workers and making Nick's trip to San Diego and Disneyland for a family reunion as a wish child with Make-A-Wish possible. Now, Nick, at 25, genuinely emulates the true meaning of quality of life. He's thriving at home well into adulthood. And Nick has not been an inpatient in the hospital for eight years. Unheard of. <laughs> unheard of for a child with such needs. That is more evidence of Susan's dedication, devotion, and beliefs. I salute you, Susan, for your energy, intelligence, gravitas, your faith, hope, and love of my family and all of these families that you have touched, the thousands of children that you have served and their families that you have given them the opportunity, opportunity to smile, to be home in their own bed, touched and with everything around them. It's just glorious. I thank you for that. I thank you for those that have followed you, for the commitment the company has given to all of these children, the opportunities that have abounded. Home is best and PHS is best. I thank you again. God bless.